TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 762. NASDAQ off 282. S&P's off 87. Gold. Gold contract up 25 dollars, trading at 16.74 an ounce. We got silver up 17 cents, 18 dollars 70 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 220 at 51 dollars 18 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Here we go, folks. Ten-year note up 26 ticks, trading 132.21. The 30-year off up. Two points at 166.28. Now, both notes and bonds, we've been talking about this for a while. Bottom line is that you have the 30 year at all time lows right now. In both cases, they have broken the B point. They have the volume behind the move. Price projection, here you go. You ready for this one? This is pretty wild. On the 10 year, folks, it's 0.139. And right now, and yes, you're hearing that flat. That's the, the price projection of these babies right now. Right now, we're at 1.37. The all-time low is 1.31. Your price projection on the ABC down, though, is 0.1391. On the 30-year, which also broke the B point of an ABC structure down, it's 0.88. Okay, so we're going to flat rates. King dollar. King dollar is flat, 99.264. What King dollar had done... Last week, it got in a higher trading range, couldn't handle it, failed on price. I suspect we're going to 95. 95 is the other side of that range. And you get the euro at 108, the yen is at 110.75, and the pound is at uh, 129 to 1 U.S. dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? We don't have him yet. Okay, that's all right. We will get him. Uh, the market out here, folks, uh, no doubt, uh, you, you talk about a hit, it's taken a hit. Let's go over to the note and bond market first, because what you're going to see out here, uh, bottom line is that, you know, flat rates are coming at us. This is, like, pretty amazing, actually. TY, let's see. Okay, so let's get into this contract. You're down, you've already done 2.2 million contracts inside the 10, which is just an absolute mind blower. Uh, TY1, I'll put the generic contract up. So you can see what this baby is looking like right now. You're at 132.22, and we put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see is that you're blowing away the B point up here, which is a 132.01, and uh, bottom line is that uh, <laughs> you got 122, 132, so you get 10 bucks in price, get you 137 and change. And what you're going to see out here, we'll bring this back, your all-time high up here is 135.29. You know, so the bottom line is that this is a monster move, folks. We take a look at the 10-year yield. You're going to see it right in the yield also, which is pretty amazing. The yield blew away its B point uh, out here today. And you, you, you're taking it out with conviction, okay? So your probability gets much higher that uh, this baby uh, is going to go to flat. And the uh, bottom line is that, you know, the all-time low is 1.31. Right now, you're at 1.37. But what you're going to see, the B point on this was 1.4272. And we're blowing that away. Uh, so pretty intense. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Good Monday morning. How are we doing? Oh, man, what a trip, right? <laughs> oh, boy. I took a peek at those futures last night. And um, even from last night, things escalated pretty quickly this morning. They did, man. They did. Yeah. And... You know, it's pretty intense, folks, when you get these downdrafts. You know, like three days just took back three months. <laughs> That's, you know, if we go back into the S&P, we're trading where we were December 26th, which is pretty hard to comprehend. The number to keep your eye on out here today is that we had a high volume low from uh, January 31st. 320.73 is the number inside the SPY, and we hit 322. You know, so 
if you if we hold here, the bottom line is that you'll get a little bounce out of this market, you know. So and if you could right click on that bottom of that chart for yeah. us, just so we can get a full. Uh, but it is, it's crazy, man. Just that quick in a heartbeat, right? And you got gold almost up at 1700. Not to mention, you know, I do the show every morning at 8.30. What was cool was we air the first half of your show on Friday, and you were talking with Bud Spriggs on there about interest rates to end last week. Right. Um, coming into that in uh, a very timely conversation when you're talking about how that may affect the mortgage refinance market. I imagine uh, mortgage brokers, man, um, you may need, you may see another another thrust of acceleration in refinances or just home buying when you're sitting at a 10-year. As you said, I believe 1.38%, 1.39% um, so far this morning. Right. Now, watch this math, folks, okay? This is the mind blower just in general. So let's pitch it. You know, right now you get, let's say that the mortgage rate, 30 years, 3.75. Well, let's, let's make it 3.50, so it's easy to sure. do, okay? Yep. 3.50, right? If the 10-year goes to where I think it's going to go, that means our mortgage rate is going to go to one5 Seven five one point five zero. Where do you think the ten years going? Zero. 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 Okay. Okay. So what ends up happening is that you're you approximately one point seven five to two over that number. That's how the yes. that's how the mortgage rate goes. Yeah. But watch the math behind this. This is sick. So picture that, Tommy. That you're going to go buy a five hundred thousand dollar house right now, right? I'm just making it a big number so you can see how dramatic this is. No, yep. let, let's say it's a two hundred thousand dollar house. A two hundred thousand dollar house, right? And that's your affordability from debt to ratio, okay? 50% conventional. Okay, you, you with me here? I'm, I'm actually not, man. You, you, so debt to, I mean, what's, okay, go okay. ahead. I, I need more numbers. You got to slow it down a bit to bring us along with you. If, if, uh... Okay, so the bot, if you could get a $200,000 mortgage right now at 3.5%. Okay. If the rates go where I think you're going to go, you, that means you're going to be eligible for a $400,000 mortgage at 1.5, the 1.7. It's that dramatic. And in the context of, because it's a, it, it doesn't have, it has to do with how much you can pay versus how much you're making. But real estate oh boy. wise, okay. it, exactly, it's that dramatic. No, oh boy, as in, okay. That's what it is. It's, it, it doubles okay. the price because you're going half of the rate. It's the same number. I'm not sure that's how it works out to the payments, but we'll have to break that down. Because doesn't it correlate to the payments? Your payment is not going to be cut in half. It is. As the interest rate okay. is cut in half. No, your, your interest payment. Okay. Okay. Well, no. I, I mean, basically what you're... Okay. I don't want to. No, no, it's all right. If you I'm put wrong, me in a weird me. spot here. I get no, so no, nervous when I'm I have wrong. to question if, the numbers you're throwing out at me, man. But so watch how this works. If you're saying, but what you just said is that if the 30 year goes to 2%, 1.75, and okay. it was at 3.5. So if it goes from the, so 3 then. 3.5, you're, you're paying 3,500 per 100 grand. Just to. Say that again? 3.5%. Yeah, it's 3,500 per 100,000. Oh, I, 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 we, we got to do the math on this. I'm sorry, man. I love That's you, right. but, but we're, we're off on this one. Okay. You're, you're looking at the interest on that, on that. You're not looking at the, the payment. The monthly payment does not move to that degree. We'll do it at the break. So what, I again, love folks. it. Let's we're do it. That hits when you come back. I don't, Dow, okay. Dow's down 715. NASDAQ's off 256. S&P's are off 80. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow down uh, 725, Nasdaq off 267, S&P's off 83. Yeah, I was definitely way off there. <laughs> um, I, 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 it looks should, to yeah. me like you get buying power of one third more. I think you're still stretching it, man. I did, you're still stretching. It's not a third even. So you, to, let's give people the real math, right? So I got it up there if you want. The mortgage yeah, amount. Yeah, what? Yeah, put, put I mean, put it's just simple there. math, man. This It's not that dramatic of a, it's it's really far off from what we're, so $200,000 at 3.5%. You're looking at a monthly payment of $898. So call it $900. Yeah. All right. Now that's not including taxes and insurance. No, no, I now, understand that. Right, right. Do taxes and insurance come into that debt to income? I believe they, they may. Do. They do. I believe they yeah, may. They so that is also going to stick. Payment. That's right. That's also not going to move. So let's right. just say you add four hundred dollars to that, okay? And that's a rough right. estimate, a low estimate. So you go from nine hundred to thirteen hundred, okay, for a two hundred thousand dollar mortgage. Well, you change the numbers to one point seven five. You're looking at seven fourteen. You add that same four hundred dollars. You're looking at eleven fourteen. So you only moved from thirteen hundred to eleven. 15. Right. So okay, now, now move this. Do me a favor. Take that 200,000, right? Can, okay. And make it 30, 60. Make it 250,000. At and I'm just I'm just curious what that payment comes out at. So 250,000 at 1.75 yes. comes to 893. And what was the first one? What do you Okay, you right? Okay, so that's the number. 893, 898. See what I'm saying? It's adding 50 grand. So it's adding, what, 25% more. Right? 
Okay. Yes. Yeah. But so here's the thing. Here's the thing, though, is that it's you're not including tax and insurance, man. You're taking this from a very biased opinion. I have to put it. You're not including tax and insurance. So you actually go from 11, 15 to 1300 is the two difference there. So it's it's okay. It's still less. Than it's it's it's, it's a it's a difference. Okay, it's a difference. We just we started this conversation off with saying you could buy a hundred percent bigger house, you know, from two hundred thousand to four hundred thousand. Right. Um, Which you can't. Right. And, and it's I, maybe I from two to two fifty. And you're, and you're talking about you're you're talking about. I just want we have to bring it full circle, man. Yeah. You're talking about a huge huge move to zero percent interest rates, which we're not even near right now. And if we reach zero percent, people will be able to add fifty thousand dollars into their purchase price. Right. That's that's quite a difference from what uh you know it's a big it's a big difference. Um, refinances is where I see. I mean we're at all time lows in the 30 year. We're approaching all time lows. So no matter when you got a loan in the last 30 years, you're going to be at an all time low. Um, so the refinance market could definitely trigger that if you're in the market for sure. Um, no but doubt. But because and and where the confusion comes in just so is that you're just doing the straight yearly interest rate payment on your interest. You're not factoring the, the, the principal and how that's correlated to the monthly payment, you know, annuitized um, for an annuity over those 30 years. So it's not quite the risk, but, uh, but nonetheless, man, it's, 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 mm -hmm. it can't hurt, you know? It's, it's a big factor for sure. It's intense, man, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. And so let, let's look here. Let's look internationally right now. So internationally, France is at two-tenths negative. Germany is almost at a half negative this morning. And these markets, you know, overseas folks, they got, well, we're all getting hit. Uh, but this is accelerating overseas. The cat is down 4% now in Paris. DAX is down 4%. Spain's down 4%. Uh, Pretty amazing. It's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a big number, man. Inside the uh, NDX 100. So let's take a look at the NDX. So you got American Airlines down 7.9%. Align Technologies off 7. AMD's off 7. Mercado you know Libre's what? Can I, can I bring it back to interest rates one yeah. more time? Yes. Because yeah. I was just plugging in numbers as we go to it. So we were using a really low number, you know, $200,000 for a house, right? right? So we really, let's let's peg it at 500 because to yeah. get to your point, right? So 500000 at 3.5%. And anybody can play this game, folks. Just Google right. Mortgage Calculator. That's all I did, okay? Right. Google Mortgage Calculator. Google pops one up. You don't even have to go away from the, the, the screen that it gives you. 500,000 at 3.5 for 30 years, you're looking at 2245, yeah. okay? So if you want to buy a house right now, now you're going to have to add taxes and insurance onto right. that, okay? Which is a big number. But if, now, at 200,000, we looked, maybe you can add 50,000 uh, to the purchase price of your house. And again, this is a huge move, man. You know, it's it's to drop a percent and a half is just 1.75 we're dropping off this number, which is why it's going to be mammoth. But you can actually go up to 625 from 500. Right. To get you uh, to the same about 2233. Right, which is, um, it's, it's important to understand. It's pretty wild, man. I tell you. And it my, is. My, it is. My, I just want to stress, folks, that that's a mammoth move to zero percent in the 30 year. Um, if we if we get that, that's, a, you know, one point seven five percent points in the 30 year. Um, I, I will we'll see what happens, man. Yeah. Well, what happens is that it's it's the 10 year that the mortgage is off of. So we're, we're talking, you know, the one point three six down to I think I get point one three nine one. That's the number. Say that again. You, you're you're off on your decimals. I was confused. There's a, a 1.391. What what do you no zero point? There's a zero. Where, zero where? point zero point one three nine one is the ABC structure down. Okay. So zero point one four percent. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so we're all going to learn interest rates even more, folks. That's the bottom yeah. line here. That's yeah. the, that's where this thing is going. I mean, in yeah. a big way too. Yeah. So pretty crazy. Wow. It is, because that's what you're seeing. You know, Larry did a great program at 9, and he was saying, you know, be careful out here shorten this market, folks. The Fed is going to come in. Um, they, they are monitoring this, don't you know? And, and, you know, just doing even the 10 o'clock update, 
these blips on the chart are 200 Dow points on the open, man, but they look like nothing because last night we just dropped from 29,000 to 28,000. It looks like a, a 25 point Dow pop at the open. Meanwhile, we just went from 28,007 to 28,213 within the first 15 minutes of trading to start the day. Um, right. And if that's the case, interest rates are coming down. You know, I mean, I saw I saw one, I think the April meeting now, 53 uh, percent, maybe I saw one Fed watch tool. If you could, could you jump over to the yeah, they Fed ch- fund? They changed it. Oh my God. W. I look at this. OK, so. Well, there we go. There's your April. So we got a height cut. OK, 34 uh, percent. It looks like June's in there at about 50 percent right now. Um, yeah, so they're changing everything on you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we'll get used to this. So this is the new They'll chart. They'll keep you guessing. This yeah. is the new chart. So, Well, maybe at the break, they're, they're trying to push a tour of uh, the warp in the, t- in the top right. You can take right. a tour of the new platform at the, at the, at the break. Pretty wild, man. I mean, this yeah. is... Yeah, nonetheless, like, like we all know, uh, the odds of a cut, definitely going up this morning as to where we were on Friday, for sure. Yeah. And, you know, I heard you when you were on about the aspect of uh, what the CDC didn't want to put the people on the plane. The State Department overruled them. That's bizarre. It's pretty scary stuff, man. You know, I was I was not even joking. I don't even want to use the term joking, but saying to my friends, you know, if a movie starts off, and you say they're going to put the 14 infected patients on the plane against the wishes of the CDC, you know that that's going to end badly. That's and a horror so, show movie. Yes. It is. Right. Exactly. Right that's there. how it all begins. Tommy and I come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 930, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off 820. Nasdaq's off 310. S&P's are off 95. Let's go to Maria in New York. Hey, Maria, what's going on? I'm good. And you? How are you? Good. Thank you for calling. Thank you for holding. Appreciate Hello, it. Good Maria. You're welcome. How are you, Tommy? I'm doing well. Thanks for calling. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you guys. Um, I just wanted to uh, just pick your brain about Apple, please, because, um, you know, I was looking at the chart. Well, I was short, but I covered a bit. Um, and I was wondering if, uh, looking at the chart, if I look at this big bar on the 20th, no, 19th of December, 20th of December, with the volume, do you think we're heading towards 282, 283? Yes. Okay, so okay. this is what Maria is looking at here, right? So there's, there's another way of doing this, too, because I just did it when I knew this call was coming in, Maria, right? So mm. watch what happens here. Now, this bar is sticking out like a sore thumb, folks. It's 282.65, okay? That was a big volume. So what has happened also is that we broke, like, this little consolidation that you could say you're in, right? And the bottom yeah. of that would be 302. And if we take 302 and then we take that top of 327, it's like, okay, it's 25 points. Mm. So if you take it that way, too, you're at, what, 378 or something. So I suspect that's yeah. where we're going. That's what it looks okay. like, you know. That and, sounds good. Yeah. That sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Appreciate Bye, it. Maria. Bye, Maria. Yeah, I mean, the Apple deal, man, it's, it really is going to be interesting to see um, <clears throat> just how this all affects the stocks that are doing big business. Apple's already given guidance, man. I think, what do they say, 15% of their revenue in China, let alone the production is almost completely entrenched in the country. Um, and to jump back, man, so I, I covered it in the, the program. I, uh, a New York Post article popped up, right? I mean, did you did you see this, Tom, over the weekend? I mean, the, the pictures from this plane that the the American State Department had chartered for the the Americans on that cruise ship. Okay. Um, straight out of a movie. Same deal, man. You're looking at literally passengers in planes with masks, and then wow. right in the back of the plane, they have the patients who had tested positive. So what had happened was oh. you have 329 Americans. <laughs> this is on the cruise ship, the Diamond Princess that cruise is ship. Crazy. It is. And um, so what had happened was is that right as they were at the tarmac, I believe, or maybe they were testing patient um, patients, people, okay. American citizens, as they got onto the plane, you had 14 testing positive. All of them asymptomatic. And what is asymptomatic? Mean? No symptoms. Okay. Not sure. Okay. They they, they appear okay. perfectly healthy. Okay. Um, and so the decision was made by the State Department over the uh, the fierce objections, some articles saying, of the CDC to bring those 14 Americans on the plane with the 329 uh, at the same time, you know, as part of it. And now all of these people will undergo a two-week quarantine when they return to America as well. But I'm just going to jump to the next headline that really is the fear of it, right? So you have the Japan cruise passenger confirmed with the virus after going home. There's a lot about this virus we don't know yet. And right. when you're making decisions like that and, and you're just thinking that somehow, so you have a woman in her 60s testing positive after initial negative results. So this is the same cruise ship. The patient tested negative for the virus on February 14th on board the Princess, returned to her home in Tochigi near Tokyo on February 19th, started to have a fever on the 21st, tested positive on the 22nd. Wow. Um, you, you know, I mean, it's scary stuff when you have patients that are being released and that's where the patients the first to be confirmed with the virus after disembarking from the vessel and comes amid increasing skepticism over japan's handling of the situation um i read a new york times article last week i believe thursday or friday about this cruise ship and it's literally the stuff like you said that horror movies are made of man where they they had the first person test positive they literally just took that one patient put him in a room and they just went on as normal scheduled right. business with buffet lines using the same tongs oh my God. Um, events at, at the so so it's just scary stuff when people are making these decisions that could have literally worldwide pandemic um, implications um, and you see it over and over and over and so as as the the spikes of these you know different clusters appearing the market just getting more and more afraid but those those types of stories man um, scary stuff. And, just and just to give you an idea, folks, okay, 
The CDC, okay, here, I get the mission statement up. So the CDC, number one, is an American organization, folks, okay? And the CDC, right at the mission, is to protect Americans from health, safety, and security issues, both foreign and U.S. Just so you get an understanding, okay. that is the department that is in charge of it, but yet the State Department overruled them. You know, so it's yeah, pretty intense. And, and, and you know what? To, we, we're usually out here, as most people know, giving, giving Trump the business for yeah. a lot of decisions he made. And uh, reportedly on those articles, uh, Trump was furious as well. I don't know who in the State Department made that decision. I don't know how that decision of that magnitude doesn't go up to the president. Right. Maybe it does. And that, you know, it's unfortunate. I don't trust everything coming out. But uh, I don't know how that that decision gets made on such a mammoth level of, of you know, yeah. bringing 14 Americans and putting them on the plane with everybody else in such a confined space. Can you which imagine is probably, how those people on the plane, they must have been going out of their mind. Yeah, which is part of what, the, what? probably the CDC was saying. You know, yeah. you can't, you but, can't, yeah. Because it's recirculated air anyway. Yeah, it's not like, you know, yeah. you can't, I, I agree, man. And just the, the stuff we don't know um, about this. Uh, so the market, you're seeing it, man. And you're seeing... Yeah, you're seeing it. Did you see the story? And this is where China, you can't trust anything coming out of China for sure. You had, they announced the easing of the Wuhan quarantine and then retracted it only a few hours later. Yeah. This, you see this? I mean, this just, they, so they don't know what's going on. I don't know how that type of announcement gets announced. And then a few hours later said that it was not authorized and so they're still in lockdown and that lockdown is now more than a month january right. 23rd they've been sealed off 11 million people bigger than new york city it's now february 24th and they're still in lockdown and they they so on monday the government said on we weibo that non-residents would now be able to travel out of wuhan as long as they're healthy and not quarantined first move to ease the lockdown of over 60 million hubei population that's been in place for a month that was seen as a sign that China believed the outbreak is under control. But hours later, the statement was deleted, as well as on state media sites. And shortly after, a new statement issued saying that uh, the earlier statement was unauthorized, no change in the quarantine. I mean, scary stuff when it's just such uh, such confusion. I mean, how do you have faith in a system like that? You know, that's the scariest part of this. You know, you think you think that the people in charge know what they're doing, and over and over, it's just not happening. All right. right. And when we come back, folks. Right. We'll talk about the financial ramifications because what happens here is this the factories are shut down they haven't gone back to work yet right. you have orders across the world that aren't getting filled and this is the kicker the kicker is picture that you're in business you're already shut down for a month month and a half who is going to be able to stay in business for the factories right you see what i'm saying it's oh a, i it, agree it's, man listen i i you know, you know, I just got a container in from China, folks, last yep. Friday. I got a bunch of them, okay? And right now, I know the factory's not opened. I yeah. spoke with them on Friday, and I started thinking over the weekend, I'm saying, oh, no, I hope they don't go out of business. <laughs> I, yeah. You know, I, it's, it's, and the way that works, folks, yeah, we'll talk about it when we come back. Dow, Dow right now down uh, 859, NASDAQ off 325, S&Ps are off 97. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow down 902, NASDAQ off 333, S&P's off 100. Let's go to uh, Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, Jim, what's going on? Hey, guys. How y'all doing today? Going good. Yourself? Hey, Jim. I'm doing good. Hey, Tommy. Uh, just wanted to check with you on a company called Snap, you know, Snapchat, S-N-A-P. Let's, let's See what y'all... Okay. Let's take a look. We got Snapchat... It's SNAP. The low for the year is nine dollars and sixteen cents. The high is nineteen seventy-five. So let's see. Pull this back for. So you think you're dipping your toe in here? Is that what's going on? Yeah, it's pulled back to uh, kind of a little support area. I don't know if it's going to hold there or not. I, I'm not in it right now. Just looking, and I think it has potential. No. Yeah, I no, I, <laughs> no, I can see what you're saying. I, I would, you know, what's sitting out here, Jim, is that that looks like, uh, what's that, the middle of September, it looks like October, that $12.71, I mean, that could get hit pretty easy. That's the bottom yeah. of the consolidation. So, you know, it tried to, well, you had a nice week of strength on, uh, in, in June, you came back down, you went above that area with light volume, and then you see how we came back off with big volume. And that big volume you came off with, just so that's an earnings uh, tank in that week. Yeah. So, I mean, I... And just that we're below that level even now, so... Yeah, and I would, I would wait to that bottom of the consolidation. I don't think this, this downdraft also is gonna, not going to be a one-day wonder. I mean, I know everyone suspects, not everyone, but <laughs> the dippers expect that that's what's going to happen here, but... You know, when you when you look at the S and P, this is broken a few times. You know, and the real kicker is going to be like, okay, if if we take a look, you know, we're, we're talking about you know the the dollar on the way up for a long time, Jim. Yeah. How you you know this this broke a major trend line with conviction. You know, I can make the case that the spy wants to go to 284, and we're at 324. So uh, okay, yeah. I'm I'm actually pretty much out of everything now. I got out last uh, 
Thursday and Friday. Or just <laughs> Good for you. Everything. You better come work for us, man. <laughs> Nothing wrong with keeping <laughs> your awesome. nose dry, man. Totally. <laughs> that yeah. is so cool. Well, now you're going to be itching. You're going to be itching to get back in. So now, you know, now you're just going to find the biggest stocks out there. I think, you know, when you get downdraft like this, folks, this is the time that, you know, you do want to, to me, I know Bowen's been a mess, but this is the time that you want to go after these monsters that are going to be around forever. You know what I mean? That I would agree. If you're a long-term yeah. buyer, man. You know, you know, I, and I, the real question is, yeah, okay, you know, Bowen's down 11 bucks out here today. You know, I think we'll go to 292 or 318. But, you know, when you get large downdrafts, that's when I think if you can get these big S&P equities, you know, your, your probability is a lot better that, you know, you're going to get going. You know, the, what we've definitely had is that uh, the growth stocks, you know, are, are like a rocket ship, there's no doubt. But what also ends up happening is that when they go south, you know, it basically does quite a bit of damage in Ooh. general, you know. So, and well, I, wouldn't go of, I wouldn't, I'm sorry, speak, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, speaking of the SPY IVV type S&P 500, uh, where do you think would be a good place to get back into that? You, you're saying that you think this uh, pullback will last two or three days more or so? I don't see it as a one-day wonder. Let's put it that way. Normally, what would end up happening is this, is that, you know, we're down so hard today, yeah, I could see a little bounce. I mean, we'll get a bounce out of here somewhere, but to me that, you know, this is, the trend line's broken. We've already got two warnings, and that's what normally happens at major highs, okay? You got a warning going all the way back in November. We got another one at the beginning of January. You know, and it's like, okay, man, this is it. They've been unloading this thing, you know. And last week, I don't know if you, when I was on the air, uh, I believe it was Tommy and I, or I was on the afternoon, you had that sell down in the ETF. The, it's not the SPY, it's the other, it's the, someone sold 598 million in one trade. You know, yeah, so, I saw that you sh you showed yeah, that, and uh, yeah, yeah, all the other volume just disappeared because that one was so large. <laughs> right, exactly. So that is, you know, they've been, you know, normally when that happens, they've been moving out equities for a while, you know. And if that's the case, what ends up happening is that if funds have already moved it out and they've decided, okay, they'll come back in, but they're not going to come back in just in a small, shallow retracement like this, you know. So and yeah. you know. We've been talking about these bonds. What does end up happening the other side of that, you know, there's a lot of moving pieces here. You get destruction on the way down, but then, you know, if, in fact, the, the bonds go where I think they're going to go, well, then dividend-paying stocks are going to be worth money, too, you know. In fact, let me just look at it. I want to look at these housing stocks because what we didn't talk about, and that was my point in talking about the interest rates, is that housing will go up dramatically, folks. And what will happen, it will be quick. So that's the... the bullish part of it, the bearish part of it will be that people feel less wealthy because their stock market portfolios got hit, okay? Sure. So yeah. there's going to be the yin and yang that's fighting in there. But, you know, structurally, I suspect, you know, at the very beginning, they'll go up pretty quick. They'll, you know, there'll be a savings, but then it'll get kicked into the equity simultaneously. Because what we also have is that the Fed's been putting money in, but the Fed might have to put a mon monster amount of money in now. And if that's the case, yeah. inflation will kick off. Well, we'll, we'll find out whether it will kick off or not. But uh, I'd sit on that cash for a while, Jim. Okay. Sounds good. Have a I great one, man. you have... and Tommy a lot. Thank Thanks you. Lot. Thanks, Jim. We, we appreciate your call, man. Yeah, big time. Big nope. time. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye now. So just one headline popping up there, Tom, not sure if you saw it, uh, Fidelity and Schwab saying some clients experienced technical difficulties amid the 800-point Dow plunge at the open. So you had Fidelity and Schwab clients experiencing difficulties uh, accessing their accounts amid Oof. the drop. Um, both told CNBC about an hour after the open that the issues had been resolved. But boy, oh boy, man, I mean, how do you not have people able to access their accounts when the market's yeah. opening at 800 points down? Um, it's heavy. It is heavy. I mean, it's it's maybe that's why the market got a bounce, because nobody could get in there and sell. <laughs> that's right, and no one understood. And what happens on fast markets like these folks, okay, is that the data center has got to catch up with the market. Um, if you've never seen a market like this, it's very dangerous. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure many of those folks pulled that up and 
the sad part is that those numbers were not even correct. That's that's the thing. If I let's picture if, if the like when that Dow moved two hundred points. Yes. If there were people that you, you get in the middle of it, and when they don't get, they don't move up with it, it's like a disaster, man. Do yeah, it's not mean? a it's not a true reflection of price discovery, right? Because right. everybody can't even put the orders in that they want to to right. drive the market to where it should be for supply to equal demand. Exactly. Yeah. And when you get a fast market, folks, you know, do not, you know, put in market orders. Okay. If you, if you, no, right. one, one, I, one way you can do this. Okay. Well, here, as soon as we come back, I'll show you this. But today is a good day to cover that one. Oh man, for my sure. God. Stay yeah. right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the gold report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow down 800, NASDAQ off 299, S&P's off 90. So if we could just go over quick uh, as a buyer and a seller. So let's picture you're in the market, folks. Let's picture that first off if you wanted to buy something right now, right? And you get a fast market that is moving, right? Let me just put Apple up here. So what you would do the, is that Apple's at $300.835. So if you wanted to buy it, I would put like a buy-in, let's say at 300 dollars 
okay, which is 20 cents over it. And the reason for that, the way the rule goes, folks, is this. If you put that in there in the Thinkorswim platform, you're going to get the best offer at that particular point. And it's not going to be over the 6.5 that you put in. So in a fast market, what ends up happening, you'll see it come back, maybe come back at 5.5, whatever it will come back at. Just because you put 6.5 in doesn't mean you get that. But if the market's running away, you'll know what you get. Now, let me go to the opposite side of that. Let's say you're selling it, okay? And as you're selling it, what ends up happening, that right now, Apple's at 3.8285. So let's say that you're selling it. If you wanted to sell it, I'd put that offer to sell in probably at 300, put like 550 or something on a fast market like that. That's 30 cents below its trading because the catch up, it, what the rule would be is that you'd still get the best bid that's out there and you wouldn't get below 300.50. That's, that's in a fast market, that's what you have to do. You have to go over and under if, in fact, you're trying to get in or get out. If you're day trading, you definitely want to do that. If you're investing, it's a suggestion of how you can get out or get into equities without putting a market order in. Do you know what I mean? If you don't know, news could break, all the bids could disappear, all the, you know, and exactly. all of a sudden you, you put in a market sell and you sell it at 290. That's right. When it was just at 300, but then guess what? It's right back to 300 when they come back in. So there we go. Love it. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Stay right there. TD Ameritrade coming up. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes. I'll be back this afternoon, folks. Right here. Go get them.